99% of influencers who mention crypto are stupid, greedy, or both. They are scamming you, getting scammed themselves. Either way, you're not going to make money. And we're going to see both today. We're going to cover some. But you got to know people use the same playbook when they get caught. I didn't know. I was innocent, well-intentioned. I was a doofus, a goof, a screw-up. It was not financial advice. And some of you have forgotten about this. Because what we covered was back in 2020, 2021, crypto scams have kind of died down because there's less suckers, money dries up, grifters move on. But now that Solana, meme coins, crypto are pumping again, the scams are back with a new twist promoted by new people. And so we've got to do the same dance we've done before. This time, it's not really worth putting on CoffeeZilla. We're, we're petty enough in the void to cover it, but I really do feel like how many times can the same story repeat itself? Let's find out. We're going to start with Caitlyn Jenner, who launched a coin. At first, people thought it was a scam. You know, this happens all the time. People get their pages hacked. Well, sure enough, a video drops saying, nope, it's very real. Uh, and Caitlyn decides to announce it in a bathrobe. Hi, everybody. This is Caitlyn Jenner here. I know. Actually, I'm just... I've been running around all day playing golf and Sophia, my CEO, uh, has been doing a wonderful job with my new crypto coin. Yes, this is for real. Get involved. It's going to be very good. So I'm very excited about it. And uh, I'm looking forward to the future for the next couple of hours. So wait, what? I'm looking forward to the future for the next couple of hours. That is about the truthful answer of how long crypto influencers think about projects. They go, for the next couple of hours, I'm all in. I'm dedicated. I'm willing to work for you guys. So, uh, Caitlin posts this link and, uh, you know, immediately allegations of scamming start circling for obvious reasons. People say, wait, Caitlyn Jenner is related to the Kardashians, right? Aren't they like ultra rich? Why shilling tokens on the timeline? Because Chris and the kids are the ones with money. And Caitlyn Jenner says, exactly, lol. Uh, I feel like that gives it away already. Just trying to extract wealth from the fans. The last bit of wealth from your uh, notoriety. But anytime you have a story like this, it's never as simple as the influencer thought of it themselves. Remember my rule. They're either stupid, greedy, or both. A lot of times they're stupid, so they need someone else to help them with the grift. Now, this is where trouble always comes in. Anytime you get someone else to launch your crypto coin, a lot of those people are scammers themselves. So this is where another member of the story comes in to this Caitlyn Jenner coin saga. His name is Sahil. He's the one who basically launched the coin. But pretty soon it was clear there was trouble in paradise. Caitlyn Jenner posts, I wasn't involved in paying anyone to promote. That shady effort that launched the coin and dumped owes me a ton of money. Uh, then Caitlyn just leaks his ID, <laughs> which I'm not going to uh, share here because it's insane. And then says uh, he's out, like like Sahil's out. Caitlyn's all in, I guess, this coin for the next few hours. <laughs> and starts talking about how, oh, it's going to be fine. I'm just going to focus on this coin. Only to immediately start shilling another scam. Double the trouble, double the fun. Bertha and Baxter are now in the crypto game. I guess that's the dogs and makes a coin for that. Uh, then deletes that because Caitlyn's coin dumps and then now says, I'm not getting involved with any other coins. Somehow we've gone through the entire life cycle of a crypto grifter scammer. And it's only been like 24, 48 hours at this point since the initial coin was launched. But to make it even more perfect, then we see this post. That doesn't mean I won't be investing and continuing to promote Jenner. But Sahil appears to be fully out at the moment. And then we see F Sahil. He scammed us big time. So we have some idea that Sahil bought the coin, probably rugged it a little bit. Now, at the time of writing, this is what the chart is doing. Guys, this is a total scam. Do not get involved. These are zero-sum games. This is for suckers only, okay? Suckers only can invest. It's absolutely tragic that anyone gets involved in these things. And ultimately, the reasons are transparent. Caitlyn is getting involved because the kids and the other Kardashians have all the money. Caitlyn wants some money. It's literally right here for why all this is happening. That's just the start of the crypto grift because now Iggy Azalea's jumping in. 
And this post just really shows you these people do no research there. It's just a money grift. They say, I had no clue what I was walking into. By the way, this is after they've already launched a coin. But deeply respect all of y'all giving me an unexpected place to learn some new info, insight without judgment. Really enjoyed this. By the way, people are trading this coin as they're writing this. Uh, Iggy says, yes. They said, didn't you think to learn more before launching your own coin? Yes, I was in the process when my name was being used to make a pre-sale for a coin I didn't agree to be a part of and felt I needed to be ahead of that, making my own. Wait, what? Someone else might have made a coin about me, so I got to make it first. That doesn't make any sense, right? You you were going to get scammed, so then you scammed other people? I don't understand. I don't understand this logic. Um, and of course, when inevitably people are dumping the coin and screwing people over, they say, uh, this is my concept coin. I'm somehow supposed to bear responsibility for what ban random people do with their wallets. When in reality, dumping only makes it harder for me to achieve my goal of having a coin that's actually part of pop culture. Be honest, you were never going to have a coin that's part of pop culture. You literally didn't even know what these coins were when you posted it. Now, once again, we see sort of remnants of the people getting these people involved because someone says, are you in contact with Sahil? Same guy that got Caitlyn in. He's claiming you are. Eggy denies it, saying I was in contact enough to smell he's a, you know. Uh, okay. So I obviously wanted to go to Sahil at this point to figure out, is this true? And I said, making a story about all the meme coins, do you want to comment? Allegations, you scammed Caitlyn Jenner and lied about being involved in Icky's coin. This meta was started by me. Now, this is where I get the feeling that this guy just wants everyone to think that he's the orchestrator of everything. Because they say, uh, them bees wouldn't have clocked any of that if I didn't back them up. It's all orchestrated, period. I don't know why you would brag about doing scam meme coins. Sahil really wants to be seen as the mastermind for all of this stuff. It's uh, sort of embarrassing. Once again, this Iggy Azalea chart is going to ruin people. You have to understand that the people who are in the know in these meme coins are insiders. They're people launching the coins. They're developers. Nobody who's just randomly investing in meme coins on average is going to win. You have to have an edge. This is why it's all a grift is because the real way to make money on these coins is to be in right here to know about it before anyone else does. The reality is who knows about it? The influencer, the dev, the person launching it, Sahil, uh, he claims to be involved with all of these coins. Those are the people all winning. That's why I say it's a scam because they want you to think, oh, this is for the culture. This is a meme. This is just harmless. In reality, they buy a bunch of the uh, coin before you know about it and then dump on you. And people think it's okay somehow. This is what's so weird about it. We exposed this stuff back in 2020, 2021, and now it's back. People say it's okay. Dude, I think if you do this, right to jail. Monopoly. Do not pass go. Go right to jail. Uh, speaking of that, we've got another person claiming Sahil scammed them. This guy Sahil is really getting around, okay? He's like the influencer connect for everyone. This is Rich the Kid, which I don't know. If you're taking his financial advice, do you think you're going to get rich? But uh, anyway, here's his post saying he was hacked by Sahil and uh, didn't and basically got scammed. What up, guys? It's Rich the Kid. Yesterday, my page was hacked in a coin was promoted on my page without my knowledge by Sahil and today first of all I'm just gonna say if you're going like this bad news you look guilty you look very guilty and then the next part also confused me you start by saying this guy Sahil hacked my page promoted this coin it wasn't my coin and then you say this hey I'm working with my team to make the craziest coin the rich of cake wait what so you got hacked to release the coin. So today you're going to release another coin? Is this the Iggy Azalea? I had to scam them before they scammed me. I had to make the coin before they made the coin. What's going on here? You know what I mean? Like, what is this? How are these people not arrested? That's all I got to ask. Go to the moon. Um, this guy pretty much made a pump and dump. And are we just running back the whole last few years? All the scams, all the crimes that will never go punished. Are we just running it back? Is it just time to reset? You know, they say history repeats itself. Is that what we're doing here? It's just like, hey, 
Someone pumped and dumped on my page. They hacked me. So I said, I got to get my own pump and dump. I got to get in there. Help the people. <laughs> Dude, I got to watch this again. This is unreal. Hey, corn was promoted on my page without my knowledge by Sahil. This is almost as good as for the next few hours, I'm looking to the future. I'm looking forward to promoting this coin for the next couple of, next couple of hours. You got my attention. And today I'm working with my team to make the craziest coin, the Rich the Kid coin to go to the moon. Um, this guy pretty much made a pump and dump and dumped all the money into his account and blocked me. So you guys tune in for the new coin. What up, guys? I don't know how that's the endorsement. Hey guys, got a big announcement. Just got hacked. <laughs> Just got scammed, actually. So look forward to the new the new coin. <laughs> what? Uh, so yeah, guys, you have to be aware these people are scamming. And they're using other dumb people like Sahil, who that guy's dumb too. He just wants all everyone to think of him as like some genius mastermind. When the best you could say about him is he's scamming people. Uh, but I actually approached him once again about Rich the Kid's allegations. I said, Rich the Kid says you hacked his page and scammed him. Is this true? Sahil says he's a clown who used me for clout. He might be a clown, but I think Sahil is using him for clout. I mean, Sahil's using everyone for clout. The best you could say about Sahil is he's just scamming the influencers before the influencers can scam people themselves, which is also sort of what Iggy was saying the whole time. I got to scam them before they scam me. <laughs> Anyways, I had to cover this. This is not worth a coffeezilla because we've seen it. We've seen it. We've seen, how many times have I made the same video about this? How many more times can I make the same video? I don't know. But I have to cover it because people are losing money. Grifters are grifting. Scammers are scamming. And we have to talk about it even if we've seen the same story play out before. Uh, so, so yeah, th that is the clown show, the clown fest, the whole circus. I hope you enjoyed and um, yeah, stay safe out there.